Hello everybody, Beck Games all here for another Minecraft snapshot video. And uh, the first snapshot, 13W36A, has come out for 1.7. Mojang has finally started releasing 1.7 snapshots. So let's jump right in. First of all, you see all these new flowers and stuff. So, first of all, let's pick up some of these and we'll see what they are. So you have your good old dandelion. Poppies, no longer roses. They're poppies, blue orchids, allium, azure, bluette, red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip, and pink tulip. So, bunch of new flowers. Here we have the oxide daisy. You have sunflowers in the game now, which always face to the east, where the sun rises. By the way, I have the uh, the game rule set so that the time doesn't pass. Um, but these always face to the east, like sunflowers do. These, look at this, 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 and this. So we have lilacs, double tall grass. Large ferns, rosebush, and peony? Peony? I don't know how to pronounce it. I know nothing about flowers. And also, uh, sugarcane now is uh, different colors according to which biome you're in, so get hyped for that. Uh, <laughs> there's a new block now called Packed Ice. Right. Packed Ice which will be found in certain biomes. Um, it does everything the same as ice, you know, it makes you slip around, all that good stuff, but you can place things on it and uh, it doesn't melt. So that's interesting for sure. There's a new block here called Podzol, which is a special type of like dirt you're gonna find in a new biome, I believe it's called the Mega Taiga biome, which has 2x2 two two spruce trees in it. And it has uh, no no grass in it. It has bare dirt, it has pod soil, and it has mossy cobblestone in it. Alright, so the big the big feature uh, Dinnerbone's been working on is uh, fishing. Uh, so he's added stuff you can get by fishing into the three categories. I don't know why there's a lighting glitch on here, but that says treasure. So you can get junk, you can get treasure, or you can get fish. In the junk category, there's leather, leather boots, bones, glass bottles, fishing rod, bowls, sticks, ink sacks, rotten flesh, and tripwire hooks, which I wouldn't consider tripwire hooks junk. But hey, what else? In the treasure, you can get lily pads, name tags, saddles, bows, fishing rods, and books, which uh, are enchanted. You can get an enchanted fishing rod, enchanted book. You can actually, It's actually possible within the game code to get an efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, book. So, get hype. Yes, I said enchanted fishing rods. There are, uh, where's my... There are two new enchantments, Luck of the Sea, and, oops, I threw that, and Lure. Oops, get out of there. So if you enchant a, let me get an anvil. Let's take the fisher out. Let's do that. Um... First, let's show you the fish. Now in the game, you can catch your regular old fish. You can catch clownfish, pufferfish, and salmon, which you can cook the salmon. The pufferfish and the clownfish, you cannot cook. The clownfish, you can eat, I guess raw would be the word, but it will only heal about a half a hunger bar. Pufferfish, I wouldn't recommend eating it, Let's uh, 
zero. Let's just try to let's get some hunger going here. I'm gonna need a. Oh, I should have grabbed a milk bucket. Oh well. All right, so I've worked up some hunger here. Let's uh, have some delicious, delicious puffer fish. And nope. Let's get out of uh, hard mode there. Let's get it easy. So if we take a look, we get hunger three, poison four, and nausea two. Which, ouch. Let's go to peaceful we will heal back up faster in peaceful. Ow, ow, okay, give me a game mode. Game mode one. Good. Let's get milk bucket. Yes, milk bucket, please. All right. <laughs> so, that's what puffer fish does to you. Don't eat it. The, uh, I was going to show you the fishing rods, if you're in the channel, with lure. Lure increases your chance of actually catching stuff. And luck of the sea increases your chance of treasure. And it is possible to get both. Here we go. Lure 3, luck of the sea 3. And, uh, oh yeah, you can't see through the water anymore unless you go into... By the way, look at the cooling options. Fancy graphics, then you can see through the water. Fast graphics makes it so you can't see through. So let's go into, into fancy. And there are new particles for fishing. You'll see uh, like bubbles in the water when there's a fish going for your, your lure there. Come on, give me a fish. That's terrible. Missed it. But there will be bubbles traveling through the water, there will be little particles everywhere. Uh, and that's that's when you know you're, you need to get ready to pull your, your uh, rod. So let's take a look at the uh, the new options. So the uh, actually the achievements and statistics are gonna be server and world specific. So if you play on a bunch of different servers and you have different single player worlds, each one's gonna have its own achievements and statistics. As you can see, I haven't done really anything in this game, so or in this new uh, snapshot. I just set up this world here, but, so there's that, um, the options, you have your field of view, your difficulty there, the, uh, music and sounds, each thing has its own slider, there is still the master volume slider, music, jukebox and note blocks, weather, which is good if you don't want to have the annoying rain sound, blocks and environment, so the walking, the placing and breaking blocks, enemy monsters, friendly animals, and players. So everything has its own slider. Super secret settings, you can click, but it doesn't do anything yet at least. So there's gonna be something else there. Controls. Uh, everything looks more organized. You can, uh, you can, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Customize. You can customize things. Sprint is now your left control. However, the double tap W still works. I don't know if they will remove that later and this is just a transition period or if they'll keep that in forever. I don't know. Uh, resource packs. There's uh, It looks like you can combine resource packs. So I'm not sure, but that, I'm hoping that's a cool thing you can do. Uh, done, please. Thanks. All right. Um, one other thing you can do is uh, let's go get more. Where's puffer fish? Puffer fish. You can get water bottles, 
Is there awkward potions in this thing? I guess not. But there's this new potion of water breathing. Which you get by brewing the puffer fish. And, well, we can see what it does. Okay, let's go to game mode. Zero. Okay. And... Look at the breathing bar. You don't lose any bubbles at all. Also, the bottoms of oceans are uh, gravel now. <laughs> so you get yourself a potion of water breathing. You get a, uh, a respiration helmet. And you get a night vision potion. And you're good to, you know, travel and find some clay underwater. Good stuff. So, don't eat the puffer fish. Uh, brew it. Okay, let's drink some milk and get this out of my face. Good. Alright. There's a, uh, regarding the new enchantments of the, uh, the rod. If you just put it in an enchanting table and enchant it, it will it will it will give you this sprite here, the flashing sprite, and it'll show that it's enchanted, but it won't actually give you an enchantment on it. It'll just still say a fishing rod like like that. It won't actually say any enchantments. So hopefully that bug gets fixed pretty soon. Um, more stuff that's been added here. Weather, please. Let's uh, clear weather. Clear, clear. Good. All right. So next, I think we'll go look at some of the new biomes that have been added to the game. So I'll meet you there. All right. So we're flying here, loading in land. Um, here you can see the the new poppies, the orange tulips. Here we have the regular old forest biome. Got some of the uh, sunflowers in the plains here. Uh, out over this way, I believe. Past the forest. Yep, here we go. We're getting into like forest hills. Swamp. The new swamp generation I am really a fan of. Here we have the blue orchids down there. Uh, just the colors of the, the grass here. I know they've uh, completely like changed the, the biome shaders because they've added new biomes and everything. But this is all swampland. Like you can cross colors. Oh yeah, that's a new new animation. Here, when you fall, there's a little pick up dirt thing. That's funny. Uh, but if you do, it's still swampland when you cross biome colors, which I think is really cool. Swamps, they're not just water or sh shallow water with random trees sticking out everywhere. They, they actually look like swamps, especially when the generation gets like this. I really like this. Like marshy, like marshland, sort of. Yep. All right, here we have extreme hills. And a new addition to Extreme Hills is this snow, which is uh, height dependent. So after a certain height in in, uh, in biomes now, there will be like snow capped mountains. Hi pig. So we have Extreme Hills. And then over here it goes to, uh, where was it? Because they've added stuff to Extreme Hills. Now it could be Extreme Hills, Extreme Hills M, I believe, and Extreme Hills Plus. Um, Extreme Hills Plus is, I believe it's over here. Yeah, Extreme Hills Plus. 
is it has trees on them and uh, this weird like exposed stone but uh, I really like that if we wrap around over here again we get is this just regular forest biome okay this is birch forest so it's like the forest biome but it's all birch trees and here we have these things uh, well. jump please fly so we have birch forests we have the cool new swamps over here it does get really watery um, tons and tons of lily pads and this really cool generation here that I like we have some plains with the new flowers in them which are really cool I like them there's a new biome also called roofed forest uh, I think there's one around here if all this stuff would load in um, roofed forest it's it's uh, a really dense like uh, really dense forest that um, has giant mushrooms in it and two by two trees that are made of spruce wood with oak leaves they look really cool I'll see if I can find one and I'll get back to you guys all right so here we have the the roofed um, it's called roofed forest so you see you have your giant mushrooms so those aren't just in the mushroom biome anymore and you have these cool trees made of spruce wood with oak leaves and uh, this is gonna be like a mob breeding ground like look how dark you can get in here so even during the day you can have mobs it's raining again hooray luckily we have our trusty weather slider all right so I actually have some seeds for other worlds where I, I already know where biomes are and uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite biomes from this update so I will see you there all right so I just loaded up this world and I'm in a ice plains biome which is nothing new there's been ice plains ice mountains in the game for a while now um, see ice mountains however if we come down here let's get rid of that F3 there's little frozen lakes everywhere we get to I believe it was this way that hole are they working on cave generation too I didn't know that all right I believe it's this way we get to look at this frozen river ice mountains ice plains there was a a biome whoa what is this strip that's weird okay um there was this new uh, mountain range type biome which is where you find the uh, the packed ice so let me search it out and I'll get back to you guys okay so we're in frozen river here coming up on the cold beach and there's all that packed ice let's get this F3 off here this is where you'll be able to get the packed ice in the game I I don't know if there'll be a crafting recipe for it but it does naturally spawn here this is called an ice plains spikes biome so that's really cool uh, so this is one of my new favorite biomes here it just looks so cool um, I have another world with two more biomes I'm gonna show you guys and I will be right back I'm gonna 
I'm gonna get a copyright strike for that. But that was Lion King, uh, because this is the new uh, savanna biome, which, uh, you know, like in Africa. So I made a Lion King joke, okay. Uh, I'll stop with the jokes. But uh, new savanna biome with these little trees here made of jungle wood and oak leaves. They're pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now we just need lions in the game, huh? <laughs> Alright, so there's the savanna, and then it goes up into savanna hills up there. In this world, I actually don't have the uh, day cycle turned off, so, oops. Uh, so up here it's savanna plateau, it's called, not savanna hills. Savanna plateau, so it comes up into like little hills. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have one more biome I'm going to show you guys. It's the big one. Everyone's talking about this update. So I'll go find it and be right back. Alright, so here we are. This is the Mesa biome. Although I'm pretty sure this is a, a bug in the game. Because I don't think this would be a real, uh, real biome the way it is now. Um, I do like this grass color though. Um... The real Mesa biome, I don't, I don't even know if it's in the game yet, but it, it, it's going to be like a mountain range made of uh, colored, like hardened, hardened clay, like yellow and red and orange. It looks, it looks really cool. But uh, according to the game, this is the Mesa biome for now. So let's hope this gets fixed. And uh, it's got little floating islands here. Nice. All right. Well, uh, other small things in, in this change are baby zombies drop XP and, uh, and zombie flesh now, so they don't do nothing anymore, and, uh, watermelons now grow naturally in jungles, but aside from that, I think that's it, this is a really long snapshot overview video overview video wow enunciate your words guy but uh yep that's about it thank you guys for watching i'll see you all next time bye bye